Welcome back and thanks for joining us this morning. Here's what you need to know to start your day. A portion of I-5 in Shasta County is closed this morning due to the Delta fire. It's burned 5,000 acres north of Lakehead near the Siskiyou County line. We're working to get the latest numbers for you this morning. The highway is closed from northbound Fondale Road to southbound Mott Road, just 10 miles north of Redding. Mandatory evacuations are in place for the area and an evacuation warning has been issued for the community of Dunsmuir. An evacuation center has been set up at the Mount Shasta Community Center. And we have everything else you need to know on our website, actionnewsnow.com. Chico police are investigating a shooting in downtown Chico that happened overnight. It took place in front of Duffy's Bar off Main Street at about 1 o'clock this morning. Police say one person is now detained and another person is recovering at a local hospital with a gunshot wound. We are working to learn more about the circumstances of the shooting and the ongoing investigation. Today, the Butte Local Agency Formation Commission will vote on a potential annexation plan that could increase the size of Chico. The city's population is expected to increase by up to 30,000 in the next 30 years. The Department of Water Resources says the cost of repairs for the Orville Dam spillway has now passed the billion dollar mark. And that includes the crisis itself, construction, and all other related expenses. The Division of Safety Dams also just gave the Orville Dam an unsatisfactory rating for the second year in a row. That is the only rating of its kind out of 1,200 California dams. Today and tomorrow are the final free days at Lake Orville. It's part of the Department of Water Resources summer program, and there are trails for horseback riding, hiking, mountain biking, and picnicking, not to mention the lake, of course. For more information, you can visit the visitor center on Kelly Ridge Road.